In this video, we're gonna talk about why I love 4 a.m. Even though I realize it's an hour of the day that most people hope to never see, there's just something about it that I've really fallen in love with over the years. You wake up and there's nobody outside, there's no one on the roads, there's just something so peaceful about it. Nothing's louder than the sound of silence. What I love most is the silence. For most people, it is not easy to wake up early, so not a lot of people are going to do it. It's just one of the few times in the day where there's not going to be a million distractions. This world is so loud and crazy all the time, but at that hour of the day, you're not getting phone calls and text messages and emails and social media notifications. It's just a time where you can keep a clear head. And I found that the older I get, the harder that is to find. I love that 4AM gives you the opportunity to do something that you probably don't have the time to do throughout the normal course of a day. I don't know too many people that are waking up that early just to lounge around and watch TV. You know, usually there's a purpose and what I love about that time is there's no other excuses. There's nothing else besides sleep that you really could be doing. Stores aren't open, you don't have meetings, you don't have, I don't know, your kids soccer practice, you know, that's just you time. And for for me, you know, I go to the gym, sometimes I work on my YouTube channel, my passion projects. It just allows you to do more throughout a day, I feel like. Nothing's louder than the sound of silence. They always say, focus on the things that you can control, and I would consider myself a little bit of a control freak, so I love knowing at this hour of the day, Things are so consistent and reliable, you're not going to need to worry about a lot of variables. There's not a lot changing, mainly due to the fact that there are not a lot of people awake and doing things at this time, so you don't need to worry about all those other distractions. And in a lot of different ways, I found that this time makes everything easier. All the things that you want to do, if you have a certain task, it's going to be easier without the craziness of all the things going on around you, and maybe I'm just really lazy and I like the easy way out. And it all also, oddly enough, even though you're going to be one of the very few people awake at this time, it makes me feel more human because what it allows me to do is free up the time where quote unquote normal people are doing things. Like I don't need to skip out on happy hour after work to go to the gym because I've already done it or I've already got to my work and I can just go out and do things that I might not be able to do otherwise. So in a way, 4am provides me with a lot of freedom. When it comes down to it, this is how I get ready for my days. If I don't, if I sleep in and I don't do anything productive, I feel groggy and even more tired throughout the rest of the day and I just feel off, you know, I just don't feel good. And that's what it really comes down to. I do this because it's what makes me feel good. It's what fits in my life the best and it's not for everyone. And that's a good thing because quite honestly, I don't wanna see your ass at 4 a.m. anyway. <laughs> And that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. I know this was a little bit different than my normal content. It's just a topic that I had on my mind and I want to share it with you guys. And I also thought that some of you guys could relate or I know some of you want to be morning people, but you just haven't got there yet. So I want to provide a little bit of advice here. The number one, that I would say the secret to being a morning person is having purpose. You can't just wake up and have nothing to do or else you will never get out of bed. And I'm, I guarantee you every single person watching this video right now has a purpose. You have something that you want to be getting done. Everyone says there's not enough hours in the day. Well, well, there you go. And I, I get so many questions about what time I go to bed and I do go to bed early. I'm usually asleep by like 1030 or 11 during the week. I usually lay down at like 945, 10 o'clock. So I'm pretty well rested. You know, I feel like I get plenty of sleep at least for myself. What else? What else? Another secret to becoming a morning person is just having, I guess, the mental fortitude to wake up. When you hear your alarm, you never, ever, ever hit snooze. You just stand up out of bed. That's all you have to do. It's so simple. Just stand up. And that is, that's really the name of the game right there, you know? And I know 
It's not as easy as just saying it, but if you don't give yourself the option, never hit snooze, you never let yourself have that day off, it's just ingrained in your mind, and at this point, I don't even think about it. I just wake up like, like it's nothing, you know? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It was really, really great to have you here. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Hit the notification bell so then you guys get emails and all kinds of alerts every time I upload a video because they're all amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.